such a nice walk in today. All the trees and the branches are covered with quite a bit of ice from freezing rain we got a few days ago. And then we got a little bit of snow on top of that, so it's all stuck to the, the ice. Really pretty. If you stop and you don't make any noise, all you can hear is the ice cracking in the on the branches. Kind of like this. Alright, this is going down to the uh, bushcraft shelters. Um, I was the lead on this trail in today, but I changed my mind. <laughs> hey. Like the cool kids from the 90s. <laughs> You're gonna get snow in your neck? I'm hoping not to. <laughs> No, at least you got all the snow off, so I won't get it in the neck. <laughs> My turn. Oh, sled got stuck. Try to get through these branches. I thought you kept going. <laughs> Oh, my little maple tree. It's all coated. <laughs> Can't that Well, thanks for being with us, folks. Little day trip. We needed to come and check things out. Yeah. Uh, things are gorgeous. Mm. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of ice. So we felt it was a good idea to come on down and uh, go take a look at uh, the, uh, the teepee shelter, tarp shelter, and make sure everything's good. And uh, since we're, we were coming down, we brought some more firewood. A lot of you guys probably recognize this. This is the first shelter we've ever built. Um, we need to do some uh, work on this one. Uh, yeah, that's why we haven't used it yet this year. Although it is still in use. Uh, we've been using it to store firewood because we like to have a nice uh, stock for the, uh, the teepee over there. Um, also, we've been using another shelter for the last uh, couple of years. Nice little A-frame that we absolutely love. Uh, it's still standing. We uh, love that little shelter. Yeah, uh, I feel bad that we haven't used it this year. There's a reason for it. Uh, there's an issue with the tarp. Unfortunately, it wasn't a very good quality one. And uh, it's punctured through right at the top. So if we go in there and we throw in a wood stove, it's going to melt and drip all over us. So there's a lot of work we want to do to fix that. Um, so probably we could try to repair it, but it's such a cheap tarp. We're probably going to have to tear part of the shelter down and put a new tarp. That'll be for next year, hopefully. So the reason for this trip, as I said, we wanted to go and make sure everything was uh, in good shape in terms of uh, the, the teepee uh, because uh, they're calling for a foot of snow tomorrow and then it's gonna turn to some rain, so that's gonna add a lot of weight. So anything that we can kind of clear off for now, hopefully will be helpful. Mm. And it gives us a chance to come out, cook a little yeah, have a little meal. Have a little uh, fire up the stove. Baked beans on the stove in the <laughs> wilderness shelter. Doesn't get any better than that with biscuits. Yeah. So we're gonna unload some of this wood. We're keeping it in here because it's nice and dry in there. And uh, then we'll head off to the TV shelter. Thank you. 
looks like maybe somebody else is using the shelter when we're not around. Got some tracks coming in, in and out of there. Looks like squirrel. So as you guys can see, the uh, shelter is pretty nicely insulated. It's a shame to knock some of it off, but uh, it has to be done every once in a while. Um, I brought these gloves. I've used them before here specifically. These are rubber gloves. They're lined with some kind of, I don't know, plastic fur. <laughs> <laughs> They're great for this. They're absolutely, like, uh, if you're going to be working a lot in the snow, having these rubberized type gloves, fantastic. But they're, they're a tool to use for a specific, specific purpose. These will not keep you warm in the long run. So, uh, but they're great to have to clear out snow and keep your regular gloves nice and dry. Oh, 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 there's a, wow, yeah. We have a big, big chunk of hard snow there. Yeah. Wow, yeah, it's a good thing we came by. Because with all that extra snow coming, this could have been a problem. Although, it's like a hard shell. Maybe it's protecting it. <laughs> well, there's got to be a lot of weight there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. That is unbelievable. There's a yellow tarp under there. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, we're going to have to get the stove going. Yeah. So we can melt some of that from inside a little bit. And yeah. Then maybe we'll be able to peel it off. But we need to get this open yeah. so we can open the door. That's why it's thicker down there. It all slid down and kind of sit. The top of the Okay, so I finally got it open, but I did damage the stitching on the zipper, which uh, I'm not proud of. So we found that uh, pushing from inside Works a lot better to break up that hard snow. Sandra, do you want to give a shove ne right next to that uh, stove pipe, Jack? Yep. So that seems to break it off pretty good.
that tree there is leaning. shape who would think moving light fluffy snow would be it's not light fluffy snow. I know it's not it's bricks okay so we came here to have a nice relaxing fire and dang it we're gonna have a nice relaxing fire At least try. So the, the flap that was covering the, uh, the chimney jack here, like the rest of the tent, was covered in like a, 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 a fairly thick layer of ice. That's melting away. As soon as that's nice and dry and clear, that's going to stop trimming. Just a little bit of a sauna. Yep. So we're having homemade beans with some biscuits and butter. So as soon as this, we're done with the sauna, we'll throw that on. <laughs>
flippers heating up. I figured I'd come out and I'd uh, build up our collection of uh, these uh, spruce tips. They're covered in ice right now, but since we had the fire going, I'm gonna put them all the way around the fire and that should dry them up pretty good. And it's nice to have a good collection of these. Fantastic, we're starting a fire in all conditions. Uh, and we're gonna be returning here quite a bit. And we love it. Uh, pretty good stack. We're gonna put it uh, around the stove and uh, hopefully before we leave, it'll be nice and dry. So for next time, uh, we have some fantastic tinder. I don't know if you can uh, see the ice, but you be able to hear it. All right, we got our biscuit warmer on the top here. These are store, store bought biscuits. We usually make our own, so don't hate us because they're store bought. <laughs> and our beans are starting to boil up there, so I'm pretty sure they're done. So we can probably eat anytime we want now. Yep, nice and hot. Hot beans. Oh, it smells good though. Yeah. I don't like baked beans when you're out in the winter. Anywhere. Homemade, <laughs> homemade baked beans? Yeah. It's good anywhere. Yeah. Another big thank you to Sandra's mom, Patsy. <laughs> she feeds us well when we mm. go camping, huh? Yeah. Yep. <sighs> gotta make sure that camera's on. Yeah, you're on. <laughs> so, before I eat, uh, of course, got to butter the bun. I'm but a, I'm ahead of you. Yeah, I uh, wanted to uh, give a shout out to Patty out in Ireland, <laughs> who uh, generously bought us a beer. So, as I said, we would have a cheer for you. Uh, this one is called. Jeez, uh, I can't read it. Drama. Drama free IPA. Drama free uh, yeah. IPA. So perfect for the shelter. <laughs> Supposed to be drama free. Thank you so much, Patty. So appreciate it. I hope it's good. I've never tried it. So cheers to you. Ooh, that's not bad. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That is really good. Hey, thanks twice! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a fat. I'm gonna be buying that again. All good? Oh. Can I eat? Yes, you can eat. I never said you couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows who the boss is here. <laughs> it ain't me. Mm. And. Homemade beans. Still good. Yeah, I know. Mm. <laughs> Thank you.
Yeah. You can't bring it in there because the cap. I know. Well, is it hot? Can I hold it with the finger? Yep. It is warm on the fingers. Got to close the thing outside before you come in. Now you gotta go back. Well, that's gonna wrap it up, folks. Really short video. I don't know that. I wasn't even sure if it was worth it to uh, to film today because we knew we were just coming over for a day trip and we wanted to make sure that the, the shelter was in good shape. Glad we did. Uh, that was uh, that was pretty wild. Yeah, it was quite the the, the crunchy uh, shell on there. Mm. So uh, hard one to crack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad we did, and uh, I'm glad I didn't end up filming because conditions were a lot prettier than I thought it was going to be. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, the ice and the trees and the crackly sound and yeah. I wouldn't want to be in there in the next snowstorm with the high winds. So <laughs> <It'd be> scary. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna snap for a bit, but. We're really happy we got that cleared up. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the next one over here is more than likely going to be an overnighter. Yep. So we hope to see you all again soon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. I feel like I have a bear bill. <laughs> Shovel. Clean, clean, clean. Man, it's so peaceful, folks. It's almost a shame to have to leave. Well, it is a shame to have to leave. Well, I don't want to be here tomorrow. <laughs> snowstorm. <Yeah. laughs> I'd love to be here in a snowstorm. With all the ice in the trees? Yeah. Ha, ha, ha.